Go to the web. It was back on Monday evening that between 100 and 150 millimeters of rain fell here in Burlington. Even some amateur weather observers had recorded closer to 200 millimeters of rain. In any case, it caused a mess here in Burlington. Based on the debris behind me, I mean, you could see the force at which the water was flowing. So there is a river, and you can see this is downstream. So obviously, a lot of this has been pushed from further north. So many people have been impacted on a personal level. Close Close to 500 people have had their basements flooded out in this region. Back to you inside. Thanks. We're standing in a parking lot of a local church here in Burlington where obviously massive flooding occurred back on Monday evening. Just a snapshot of the mud, of the mess that is on the streets, the local streets within Burlington. But what's more impressive and scarier, really, is all this debris, massive tree limbs, trees down, and this all as a result of the very strong winds and the sheer force of the water moving downstream, creating this dam behind me. A lot of cleanup ahead of uh, ahead of these people here in Burlington. It's been estimated that close to 500 people have had their basements full of water, and we're talking a good three, four feet of water. Some people are saying that it's even up to their hips. Not a good situation here. Back to you inside. Some people are saying that it's even up to their hips. Not a good situation here. Back to you inside. Here with Kasha. Backyards were turned into rivers back on Monday when close to 100 to 150 millimeters of rain fell. In fact, some amateur weather observers, they had recorded closer to 200 millimeters of rain. In any case, it made a mess. We're standing in the backyard of a resident in Burlington. A lot of this debris, yes, it is from this backyard, but it was all pushed up against this fence. This fence is completely downed as well and full of debris as well. Plenty of mud. We're talking about inches upon inches of mud you can hardly walk around cleanup will be a huge job now and temperatures and conditions should be pretty good for that for the rest of this week is floods we're standing in a mess of a backyard. We're talking about a few inches of mud on the ground after this area was completely flooded out back on Monday in Burlington. We're talking to Glenn. This is your backyard. What was going through your mind at the time of the floods and seeing this mess? Oh, when we first saw the water coming around the house, it was uh, let's get the dog out, get everybody safe. And, uh, and then it was sit back and watch in shock as you watched uh, the water level go up to four feet. Have you ever seen anything like this? Never, never. Going down the street was a river. Okay. Now in terms of cleanup and insurance, what's the story there? Um, well, everybody's getting their adjusters involved. Some people are being accepted and some people are being denied. So everybody's uh, you know, fingers crossed and get the adjuster in. And well, we'll be talking to insurance brokers today. We'll be getting the ins and outs of flood insurance. Back to you inside. Ah, now that's the part I'm interested to know. How